Hey guys, I've been trying a new startup company over the last several weeks, and I'm here today to give you guys a review and some feedback for this company, and they are known as Modern Classic. If you guys are excited to hear more information about them, BAM! Hit a quick little thumbs up on the video. Never transitioned like that, but I thought that was pretty cool. Let me get into some info and my experience and all the details you guys might want to know if you want to consider checking this company out or not. So Modern Classic, I believe they are brand, brand new. They don't even really have a Facebook that I could find yet, but they have a website and they have Instagram. First thing is, I believe they are out of Columbus. Um, now, it does say in here that it's made in the UK, so it sounds like they're working with a manufacturer over in the UK. I don't know the level to that, whether it is private labeling, white labeling, a private lab of their own. I'm not quite sure, but the company is welcome to give any kind of feedback on that or anything else in the video in the comments down below. And some more information. They have a bottle that I've only seen once in the beard product industry, and that would be becoming quickly one of my favorite dispensing methods, and that is one of those strawless, gravity-fed, or airless pump tops. For me, this is eight pumps is equal to what I use. So it's around two dropper tops. And what's really cool here is that it's, it is simply gravity fed. So it's not something that uses the straw to pull it up from the bottom and you get the bubbles and it's inconsistent. It's a perfect pump every single time. There's less oxygen, which means it's gonna last longer and not oxidate and get rid of the scent or go uh, rancid and rotten. That's not gonna happen. It's easy to travel with. There's no leaks. There's a ton of advantages to this bottle here. And again, it's only the second time I've seen this in the beard product industry. I am a big fan. On top of it just looking classy, they've got some really clean labeling on here. Sam and I love the black and gold. Uh, and I only have two products. I have their beard oil, and then I have what is called their hair and beard nourishment. And we'll talk about that. Price range, this is a one ounce bottle here, and it goes for $30. So it is quite expensive when we look at the market and the averages and similar products there. I don't have a discount or anything for you guys. I'm not sure if their website has one or not, but $30, again, it is pretty expensive. Let's take a look at the Carrier Blend. We'll talk about how it feels. We'll talk about how it looks. We'll talk about the scent profile. The Carrier Blend that we have here, and it is in the scientific terms. And one little thing I'll point out, but uh, and I'll put it up on screen so you guys can follow along with me. The first one is Grape or Grape Vine. Now with all these ingredients, they don't say anything more than just the root of what the ingredient is. They don't say if it's the seed oil, they don't say if it's the plant oil, and I thought that was pretty interesting. Normally you have to kind of differentiate and let us know, is it grape vine oil? Is it grape oil? Is it grape seed oil? I'm assuming it's the grape seed oil, but it doesn't quite say on here. So we have grape, we have hemp, and again it says hemp oil. I'm assuming it's hemp seed oil because hemp oil is different, but uh, it's, it's just one thing that is kind of unique to see, especially when made in the UK. Uh, but it says hemp oil, castor oil, glycerin. Now glycerin, I'm assuming is from the vegetable source. Mainly what that does is it gives a product a nice little slip. That's the, the term for it. It allows the product to spread out through the hairs evenly. So it's not just getting applied and then sucking onto one spot, it lets you apply it evenly. It's an okay ingredient, I'm cool with it, I'm not against it, I'm not like raving about it, it's okay. It's an all right ingredient, nothing to be worried about though. And then we have uh, cucumber oil, and we have jojoba oil, and then parfum, which is the fragrance in it. So again, I'm assuming it's cucumber seed, I'm assuming it's castor, uh, the bean, and, and yeah. Interesting to not have that extra step on the ingredients. It is a medium viscosity and it works really well. I have absolutely no issues with this blend. It is something that's gonna style well, it's gonna feel good. I didn't have any reactions, I didn't have any quick drying out. It was a good, solid beard oil. Now the scent on this is a cologne. To me, it is like an aquatic citrus bright cologne, really nice notes. That's my kind of cologne. I don't like the super dark and layered and musky. This is much more of a brighter one, which I enjoy. My only kind of critique for my personal preference is it is strong, like very strong. If you wear this, people are going to notice it. I like that on a date night or on a rare occasion. If I were to wear this more often, I would need it to be muted much more down for me. So that that is the only thing, again, personal preference. Some of you are like, Dan, a bright citrus cologne that is really strong and lasts all day, you're speaking my language, this is a good option for you. So again, 
$30. Is it worth that 30? I wish it was much more closer to that $20 price point. But again, that's just my experience from the market and trying these different products. There's nothing wrong with it. If it's a scent you like, ingredients and a company you like, well worth that if it's something that, that strikes home with you. Now, the other one that I was really interested to try when I got this, because I'd never seen the terminology like this, it says hair and beard nourishment. So you take a look there and that's got all the labeling on there. Very well done on all the branding. And the ingredients here, cocoa butter, babassu oil, one of my favorites, especially in a balm butter type product, jojoba oil, beeswax, and parfum. Now, again, very interesting. It straight up says jojoba oil on here. And on this one, it has the scientific name for jojoba, but not the oil. So I'm, I'm interested to see where it went different. How are you able to do the jojoba here, but not and use the scientific name here. It's just my, whoop, watch out. It's just my brain being curious and going crazy. This is just kind of how I operate, guys. And then beeswax and parfum. So it's either a balm or it's a butter with wax before even looking at the, the product itself and you get into it. And for me, it is more like a really soft nourishing balm or like a more firm kind of styling butter. It is not anything that is for, I mean, it is moving around very, very simply. It melts down immediately. There's a little bit of body and kind of grit. It's not like one that's going to bother you and you have to chase around between your fingers, but there is a little bit of texture to it. I don't mind that at all. I would call it a very soft balm. Right, with that beeswax in there, it's not the first or second ingredient. It's the least potent ingredient uh, outside of the fragrance, thank goodness. And this one is still a very strong fragrance, by the way, but I would call it a soft nourishing balm. I used it personally like a nighttime butter. It worked well. I tried by adding oil to it. That helped out even more. I did just two or three. Uh, I got the butter amount in my hands, the nourishment. I added two or three pumps of the oil, melted it together, made it a little bit softer, and it was nice but it was very strong. I would not be able to put this on going to bed with Sam right next to me, my wife, and having it so close to bedtime. I would need to put this in around dinner, kind of let it settle and dissipate for several hours before getting into bed. Strong cologne scent. Now, some additional feedback for customers for the company out there. They are just getting started. So their website does not have a ton. They don't have anywhere on their website or on their Instagram. They do have a Facebook that's not existent that I can find, but it's linked on their website. So I'm assuming that means it's coming, but nowhere on Instagram and nowhere on the website do they have their location listed. I did frequently asked questions. I did shipping. I went to their, their Instagram posts and tried to find locations. If this company is starting to develop that website, a bit of feedback, put a really good robust about us. What is the story of starting the company? Where are you guys from? Why did you make it? What are the plans in the future? Consumers love to see that stuff. This company has some really good products. I'm excited to see how they grow and really evolve, right? We've seen this in this community. Companies come out, they're very excited. They start off with some really key highlights that are great, but then some adjustments will likely get made along the way. We check back in in several months and we can see how much they've improved and how great they've become. There's a couple that come to mind right away where you're like, oh yeah, Dan, that company's one of my favorites. I remember when you first reviewed them. Exactly. This happens. I'm excited to see where they go, you guys. Good products, couple of questions, couple of thoughts. Hopefully they take this and they say, you know what? We love what we're doing. We're going to make the best possible company we can. Let me know down below, any questions, any thoughts? Did you give a chance to look at their website? Let me know what the impression was for you. Hopefully the company will be involved down in the comments to answer anything that they have. You know I will respond to every single comment. Thank you guys for watching today. Dan C. Bearded, please stay bearded and stay positive.